The third name change for the arena. It was originally the Providence Civic Center before becoming the dunk in 2001. All right, we want to turn now to your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Plenty of people, I imagine Tony Petraka is one of them, still call it the Civic Center. I yep. do. Growing I up, it, it was always the Civic Center. My first concert was, you ready? The, the Beach Boys. Oh. That's a good one. It was the Beach Boys. <laughs> The yeah. original version, the first time around, right? That's it, the yeah, first okay, time yeah. around. All right, beautiful day today, obviously, <laughs> heading out uh, much, much better after some of the uh, severe storms that came through yesterday, primarily our northern suburbs. So looking at, uh, well, Newport Harbor, breezy, bright, and dry. We'll take a peek outside and uh, sunshine, fair weather clouds. Looking at uh, Newport right now with uh, temperatures in the upper 70s, lower 80s along the south shore. And you can see. Uh, temperatures in most areas now low to mid 80s. Jamestown is actually at 88 degrees, so there wasn't as much of a sea breeze today, so the beaches were fairly warm. So dry skies now through Friday morning. Our next system is a weak cold front, very warm, and it's mostly sunny. It, it's really towards the end of the day on, on Friday, Friday evening of an isolated thunderstorm. But I think a better part of Friday, if I can be go Friday cold front, is um, it's fairly dry, and you're Call on the weekend hasn't really changed much. It's dry, it's comfortable both uh, Saturday and into Sunday. Satellite and radar composite, uh, better weather across all of New England system from yesterday is lifting north and east and pulling away. And behind that, you see the dry skies, which extend uh, back through the Midwest. So this will stick around now through again Friday morning, even early Friday afternoon. It's this system that'll drop out of the northern plains. We're thinking Friday evening, either very late afternoon or early evening. Uh, for an isolated either shower or thunderstorm. So dry Friday morning, dry early Friday afternoon. Again, it's very late day and early evening. And if, if you catch one, it shouldn't last very long. I right, forecast hour by hour starting off this evening. We're showing some sunshine. Temperatures settling back at that time to around 80. Overnight tonight, clear to partly cloudy in the upper 60s. Here we are about 8 o'clock tomorrow morning with some sunshine starting off in the, um, in the upper 70s. Note the wind initially is uh, north northwest and then as you see the arrows kind of bend and the sea breeze kicks in during the afternoon but a very warm day with sunshine you know about 85 to near 90 inland and uh, about 80 85 along the south shore a little cooler and then uh, tomorrow evening at around five o'clock we're looking pretty good and then later tomorrow night at 11 o'clock clear skies and a temperature at around 70. So for tomorrow morning waking up to sunshine at 11 a.m. it is at 84 degrees and once again like today upper 80s to near 90 across inland areas with mainly sunny skies. Humidity is still a bit elevated. It's not extreme. You know, it's kind of typical late August. Uh, so certainly a summery feel. Bay forecast with uh, unlimited visibility. Kind of northwest breeze becoming locally onshore. Waves of about one to two feet. Beaches look pretty good with some sunshine. Air temperature 82. Water temps holding in the mid 70s. All right, seven day forecast shows the decent weather for tomorrow. And again, a vast majority of Friday is dry. It's not until late, late day, like six, seven, eight o'clock in the evening for an isolated shower or thunderstorm warm. And there's your dry weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. Um, any outdoor activities, I would not cancel them. There's a very, very small chance of an isolated shower Saturday afternoon, but it's basically a dry day. And uh, Sunday looking okay as well with the temperature at about uh, 84. So again, pretty quiet over the next um, few days, considering where we've been yesterday. All right, good to know. Thanks so much, Tony.